In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import data into Excel. Now, there are many different types of data and many different ways to actually import data into Excel. But today, I'm going to focus on how to get information off of a website. Now, it's actually really interesting and neat that you can do this in Excel. So first, open up a blank worksheet like this. And then, what you're going to want to do is go to Data and then click import external data. If that doesn't appear, click the double arrows down and you should see it. Then click new web query. Now, for me the first page that shows up is MSN and those little windows you just saw were things asking to run scripts. It has nothing to do with Excel per se. Now, here you can go to any website just like in a browser. I'm going to go to Yahoo's finance website. So finance.yahoo.com. Click go. Now what I'm going to do is look up a quote for a particular company, a stock quote. In this case, let's look up Google. That's just G O O G. Hit enter. And here you're going to have data for Google. It's just a regular finance, or it's just the regular uh, web page for Yahoo's Finance for a stock ticker. And now, one thing to notice you see these little yellow arrows, and when your mouse goes over them, it highlights a box. Everywhere you see a yellow or a, a yellow box with a black arrow in it, that's something that you can pull into Excel. Now when you put your mouse over it, a box appears, and the box outlines what's going to import into Excel. Now, for instance, let's get some of this data right here. This will import into Excel very nicely. So I want to get all of this information for last trade, trade time, change, previous close, etc. So I'm going to click the yellow arrow to select that table. And then I also want to import this. So I'm going to click this yellow arrow. Now the yellow or the black arrows in the yellow boxes allow you to import table data. So once I've selected what I want, I'm going to click import. And now Excel will allow me to choose the cell that I want the data to come into or where I want the data to start. I'll just leave it in A1 click OK and here you have the exact same data that was on the Yahoo Finance page but in Excel. Now one really neat thing about this is that you can actually refresh the data so it's after hours already so none of these numbers are going to change but if you had it during the trading hours when stocks were traded these numbers would change when you refreshed the data. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to try and delete this. Now it's gone. Now I'm going to go up to data and refresh data. And there we go. All of it has come back. Now that's because this data is linked to the website. So that's a very quick example of how you can pull information from pretty much any website into Excel. The one thing to remember is that the information does need to be in tabular data or tabular form, so it needs to be in the form of a table. Otherwise it does prove problematic to pull in uh, certain parts of the data. Now since it's in Excel you can do anything to it that you'd like. And that's how you import website information into Excel.